Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to use vectors with shapes. So it's basically about finding a path from one point to another using vectors you already know. So in this question we want the vector AB, so that this notation here means I want the vector from A to B. I want to work out how far it goes from here to here. The basic trick to this is you have to go along paths you already know. So we don't know this direct route, but we do know both of these routes. So I can go from A to O and then from O to B. From A to O is the vector A but backwards, so that would be minus A, and then O to B is in the right direction, so it's minus A plus B. So for these questions, the direction is really important. Next question, same idea, same question, but here you want the vector BA. This means we're going from B to A. So again, we have to only long, go along paths that we know, so we go backwards this direction, so that's minus B, and then along this direction. So minus B plus A. Here the same idea. We want the vector S to P. So we go from here to here. So we have to go along routes we know. So I'll go here and then here. For the first route from S to O, I'm going backwards. So that will be minus 4A minus B. Then from O to P, I'm going in the right way. So that is plus 3A plus 2B. Simplifying that, that is going to be minus A plus B. And for most questions, you are expected to simplify it or give it its simplest form. Okay, next question. We want the vector from P to R. This one's quite nice. We just go here. We just go here and then here. So it is going to be just A plus B. Okay, again, here this arrow isn't given, but we're told that P to Q is A, which means the arrow should have gone that way. Okay, uh, same setup, same question again. But here you want the vector p to s. And we are told that p to s is four lots of qr. So if q to r is b, then p to s will simply be 4b. So make sure you read these little things here, can make a big difference. I think it's the last part of this question. Uh, we want the vector r to s. Again, we can't go directly there, but we have just worked out that this length is 4b. So we can just go the long way around, and we can take this path, that'll also take us from R to S. So first we went uh, from R to Q, which is minus B, then from Q to P is minus A, and then plus 4B to take us from P to S. Simplified down, that is going to be minus A plus 3B. Okay, so different questions. Uh, key thing in vectors is working out midpoint or some point basically halfway or nearly halfway along a line. Here we want the midpoint M and we want this vector here. For this question what you need to do is basically work out the whole length, the whole length from O to B, and then here we want the midpoint, so it's going to be half that distance. So the vector from O to B, to go from O to B I need to go this route, so it will be 2A plus 6B. However we know that M is the midpoint, so therefore OM is going to be half that distance. So it's going to be a half of 2A plus 6B. And half in both of those just gives us A plus 3B. Okay, so this idea can change not to be a midpoint, but to be some point along the line. Typically given how long that length is in terms of a ratio. So here we're told the ratio from O to P is 3 to 1. That means that this length is 3 times as long as this length. For these questions, the best way to work it out is to have this as a fraction. So here we know I've got the ratio of 3 to 1. That adds up a total of 4, which means I have 3 quarters and 1 quarters. Okay, so hopefully you know to work ratio, that shouldn't be too difficult. So looking here, we want the vector O to P. We know that O to P will just be 3 quarters of O to B. O to, B work, o to B we can see is going to be this length here. So it's going to be 3 quarters of A plus B. You can either write that straight down or you can expand it out as 3 quarters A plus 3 quarters B. Again, both are acceptable. Okay, here the same idea. The ratio is 4 to 1. We want that as a fraction. Uh, both these, these together add up to 5. So it's going to be 4 fifths and 1 fifth. So this is 4 fifths, this is 1 fifth. The vector O to P, that is just going to be 4 fifths of the vector O to B. 
the vector O to B you can work out by going from O to A and then A to B. So it's going to be four fifths of 2A plus 6B. Again here I would expel that out just because that's in a bit of a weird form. So four fifths of two is going to be eight fifths. And four fifths of six is going to be twenty-four over five. Again, just doing the two and the six times by the four to give me those numbers there. Okay, let's see the same idea. Again, these questions, once in a few, you'll tend to work out being the same, so they tend not to be too bad. So you've got another sort of multiple part question. Uh, first part, we need to work out how to go from S to Q. So we're going to go this route here. So that will simply be minus B plus 3A. Again, remember to check which way the arrows are pointing. So you know it's going to be a plus or a minus sign. Okay, the part B question. Um, we are told T is on this point here. And part B would be to work out S to T. And we can see that S to T, because S to T is one quarter of S to Q. We can write that straight down. And we know S to Q was minus B plus 3A. Okay, I hope that made sense. Again, not too much to it. Just take your time and again check which way those arrows are pointing.